on our YouTube, we have another train. It's CSXT Q410. That's a northbound here at North Collier. Looks like to be a UP trailing third on the train. He's just doing his work here at Collier right now with it with ES44DC 5426, I believe, in command today. And see, he's coming up here on the number two track, and he's ready to come up and do his work. So. We're going to watch this yard job and look at her come through the camera too, buddy. It looks like he's got a UP on it. Hey, how's it going? They're right down there on the NS side. Fifty-four twenty-six is your leader today for Q410. So here we will have CSX Q410 northbound here at North Collier. Move back a little bit with the camera. And so far he's looking all right by Engineer Pat. Fifty-four twenty-six. You got yourself an ES forty-four DC. Fifty-four twenty-six. Seventy-eight ninety-four. C forty dash W. And UP AC forty-four hundred number sixty-four eighty-six. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. With CSX TQ. Bring on this big old freight train! Woo! Yeah! Got a load of scrap metal up there. Kansas City Southern. Haven't seen that name in a while. And we got a couple of more of them. The waffle style box cars. You sure don't see a lot of those anymore. Those are sweet looking cars. Holy cow! I can't believe how much freight is on this train. Oh my goodness. He might stop in a minute, I don't know. Got a few coal cars. Got 
fairly new too. a fallen flight car coming around. Yes it is, the family line system. Man, I haven't seen one of those in years. And it's patched SCL. Oh, I gotta get a picture of that thing, man. I, I just can't resist. The good old SCL. Man, you can see everything on this train. CSX ES44 DC number 5426 with CSX C40-8W7894 and a UP AC4400 trailing that's XSP as they will continue north on the A-line. And we've got some rail on the train today. Some CSX MOW cars. Definitely don't see a lot of these orange cars anymore on CSX. Some steel rail. Wow. That's welded rail that's going to be soon laid out. Man, how much free train does this guy have? Oh my gosh. Oh, there was an SCL one was covered up. Holy smokes! The trains we've had so far today are a southbound coal train, I believe it was T385, and C uh, NS29G, and now CSX TQ410. like we have a Chicago and Northwestern car as well it looks like. Let me take a look at it and yes you do! The old Chicago and Northwestern employee owned. Fancy. Lots of empty lumber cars going north. Banshee. I have never seen a CSX train this long in a long time. Some, and then he'll back up to the yard to do his pickup. This 
is jaw dropping. This is jaw dropping, baby. This is really jaw dropping. It's unbelievable of how much freight CSX is put on this train. And three locomotives on this train. See, 4,400 horsepower a piece. Let me do the math on it real quick. That's 13,200 horsepower that is on this train. And he's still got more coming out of North Collier. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Looks like he's got another specialty one. So this will probably end up being a two or three point series for Q410. There's something on it. Let me take a look and see what it is. It's sections of concrete track. Look at that. Oh man, brand new sections of track with concrete ties. Holy cow. Now, most of the time I'm seeing them with wood, but now you're seeing them with uh, concrete ties because they last longer. Now brand new TTX car as well on that train. Lots of lumber going north, box cars going north. I can't believe this. This is really something. Caps on the end of the at the end of the chutes on the bottom of the grain cars, they get the grain out of the cars. Man, you can smell that pond from here. Oh. And that and all that lumber you see right there is going to your local hardware store. Man, you can smell it. And we've got, oh my gosh, more stuff. I believe it was, that's rebar. That's Reef on that folk head flat car. Holy cow. I'm already going almost 13 minutes on this train. I was glad I was able to hear him when he came north. I believe he'll have to stop here in just a couple of minutes to... There's a brand new box car there, looking pretty good. Built for TTX. And BNSF makes its way to the East Coast. Q409 I think we hear Q409's coming too. I don't know where he's going to pass, but we've got him coming. BNSF. Trying to spot the, uh, not here again. No, I think it's Q410. Or it might be Q49, just for That's right, man. Q410, oh. Q410, Q410 answer, no. Yeah, I hear you say 409, or you all say 410, oh. 410. Where you head in? It's from out there by Apple. Very close. That's crossed over uh, Lincoln Street. Okay. I need 1,200 more feet to get out of there. Got NS cars, TTX cars, CSX cars, a little bit of everybody on the train. And he's coming to a stop. Alright, that means he's been on his way. He'll be stopping soon that he'll do his reverse move.
Yep, he is coming to a stop. Yep, he's coming to it. He's coming at a crawl and he's getting ready to stop. Man, long shank couplers on the box cars. Most of the time you usually see the short shanks. And it looks like we've got more rebar on the train back there. But I think he's gonna come to a stop before his cars pass us. Man, that box car is pretty. That is brand spanking new. Next load, any road. TTX, the rail car and pulling expert for over 50 years. Never seen this much freight on a train with three locomotives. So the crew member just made a mistake. It's Q14, he accidentally called Q409. So that's what that's the situation we're doing. He's already doing work this guy. Use my handy dandy binoculars here for a minute, see how far his train goes back. Yep, he's coming to a crawl and he's gonna come to a stop. I see more rebar on the train. And it looks like we might have some other stuff on it too. But right now he has come to a stop. He has come to a complete stop. Now he's pumping a little bit. Train master Q14 engineer. Master Q14 engineer. This is DQ410 engineer. That's right, Master Q14 engineer. This is DQ410 engineer. Yeah, about 10 cars. Pull up about 10 cars, though. All right, 10 more. Right, He's got to pull up 10 more cars. Then he'll be able to do his backup once after he talks to the train master. He's not going far. He's only going about 10 other cars late. And then he will proceed back south to go do, to do a set off at Kyer. And then after that, he'll rejoin his train. Got some people coming up here. I have never seen, I'm going to say this one more time. I have never seen this many freight cars on a train on CSX. Yeah, train master 14, engineer. Answer yes, no. Yeah, stop it right there. Conductor says stop it right there. Stop now. That's right. Stop it right there. Uh, Q14, engineer. What's that engine number? 14. 5426. He said hold your hand on the 5426. Hold your hand on the CSXT 5426, though. All right. Once I get stopped, we'll. Yep. 
here comes the end of one of the end of this portion of the train. I think I can see the end of it now. I think they're doing switch crews back there. Yep, here, here's brakes. He's getting ready to come to a complete stop. Alright, he has come to a complete stop. Well, anyway, we're waiting on the reverse move. Thanks for watching. Alright, here we are, YouTubers. We are continuing the coverage of CSXTQ410. Getting ready to shove back about eight, pick up eight cars, and he just released his brakes. Should be moving now. You heard the man. Think safety. Thought he'd be moving, but he's not. He's already released his brakes. They're just making sure everything is okay before they leave. Or at least before they do the pickup. Yep. Here we go. On the move. Come on, Q410, go ahead and back her up. He's just taking his time. The yard limit is five miles an hour. As everyone knows. He does it at the slow speed to avoid breaking a coupler. Even though these bad boys are heavy. All moving. 24, 56. You just heard the man, he's doing it slow, he's doing it carefully. I want to film part of this so you guys can see the reverse move. He is barely putting on any throttle at all because he does not want to bust the coupler or get somebody hurt. CSXT like Q410, clear on a reverse move south. Over. Just saying that. She did clear on his, on his reverse move. Still need a good eight car, though. An eight car. And I'm going to let the radio do the talking from here. Alright, he's going two car lanes. When he says eight cars, then he can count down as the number of car lanes he has to go in order that he will the distance that he has until he couples the next car. That's what that means. So I'd stop and tell you that real quick. I am now proud to say that I have come to North Collier. I love the spot. Four 
four cars, four. Four more. He's halfway done. The David J. J. Joseph Company, a new Ford, a new Ford company. I looked them up when I go home. Three cars, three. Three. Alright, two more cars. Car and a half. One car. Easy does it. Half a car length, and you'll see that'll do. Stop back there. Yeah, she still need about 20 feet. Oh, right, 20 feet. 20 feet. And he stopped, but. We'll pick it up here in just a second. Here he comes. Come on back, 20 feet, 20 feet. 20 feet, move it! You can tell that guy's happy this morning on the radio. Going five feet. Ten feet. Seven feet. Eight feet. Six. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One. It's that. And he just coupled the car safely. We need a light stretch. 54, 26, though. Alright, uh, stretch him out, son. Yeah, it doesn't lie. Let me know when it starts to roll on your end. Alright. He's gonna come back a little more. In this case, the engineer is not taking a chance of getting that up and getting the, uh, the brakeman hurt at all. Brakeman says you need to come a few more feet, then that's what he'll do. I mean, he stopped to to avoid injury, and that's a good thing. Might move again. But anyway, so far right now, that's his reverse move, and we'll find out what else comes next. Thanks for watching. All right, YouTube. There's part three of three right now. Here on North Collier your CSX TQ410. He just made a successful pickup. As you heard, he just put on some juice and he is pulling off the siding right now. So, so this is part three. Move in. Move. I might be end up doing more coverage of this train as well. So, uh, give me one quarter stuff. So he's, I think he's going to say one more car, and then I think he'll throw the switch back. I'm not sure. Stop it again.
All right, he has come to another stop. Anyway, we'll bring you continuous coverage more of this train. Thanks for watching. All right, you two Q410 just, I believe, just made his pickup and he's going to bring the train forward. It's like a five or six part series that you'll be seeing when it's all compiled together. This is going to be a great series. See here, this is what Harrison's doing, people. He's putting more length of train, more length of cars per train, and trying to save a lot of money. And that's why so many trains now have been abolished. It's because of this effort. They're trying to combine some of the trains, save fuel on the locomotive, save wear and tear on the locomotive, plus save a crew. And he's moving forward, man. He's picking it up quick. Does he have trash cars on it? He sure does. I'll be daggone. Wow. 25 trash cars to a stop. 25. You heard it. Trash cars. Take it on north, Chief 410. Go on, take it on north. Yeah, bring on the trash cards! Yeah, buddy! Oh, yes! Two zero, 20. 20. Got more rebar on the train! Actually, that's not a rebar. Let's see some metal rods. Steel rods on these two bulkheads. Man, lots of gondolas, man. Woo! Yeah, that's just some steel rods on the train. And a few pieces of rebar mixed in, it looks like. Yeah, he's pulling it forward, baby. And here come the trash cars. The trash trains that used to be on CSX were Q703 and Q706. And that's where some of these cars came from. And those two trains have long been abolished. So we have cars, one, two. Oh. Wow, look at these dumpsters, man. Waste management. And that's all the trash dumpsters you see, and they're going to the nearest landfill. I believe these were just emptied. Six trash cars, six. Six. And see, look at the way the cars are designed underneath. I don't know if the canvas picked it up, but some of them have these slats underneath where they set the cars on by crane. And, they, and of course they get them down there, they get them onto the car, then they take them north or south. Four cars. Two cars, two. I see it put on the brakes. All right, he's coming to a stop. Hold the hand. Hold the hand. All right, he's coming again, once again, to another stop. I think he said about one more car, that he should be good. Well there, you, well, there you go. That's so far on Q410. All right. Thanks for watching.
Alright you two, we are now stationed on the Norfolk Sun uh, Beltline now and we're watching Q410 as she continues to work North Kyer. Uh, lots of the trash cars are still coming out and he's going to be a little bit while working the yard. We've got an NS Westbound that's coming as a hopper train with the... And I believe that's him coming now. Yeah, he's coming with his whispering mic. I was trying to figure out how to put it out there. So. Were you able to pick up a symbol on it, Trey? No. Okay, A21, got it. I'm going to look just to make sure. Yeah, and the one you posted that shared, that shared the ODR says fit, straight up fit. So we've got Q410 that's working. And he finally got his EOTD he device say, working. He doesn't say what train ID it is. It may have a road, that damn spell check overrides you. And it does it to me all the time and I hate it. <laughs> How you doing, Swan, sir? He was, yeah, he was just gliding. So we've got NS821 that's on the way, and we're just watching Q410 as, as she continues to pull north. Oh, that's right. How many axles did you say Q410 had, Barry? So how many cars do you think that is? About 200? Well, we'll hear him when he goes through the detector in four in a little while. Mm -hmm. So Q410 is done, pretty much. If you see the train, but don't count the cars, remember how many engines there are. When you hear the axle count, subtract the number of axles for the locomotives, and then divide the rest by four, which is your number of axles per car, and that's your car count. Got it. That's 18, so you take his axle count, take off 18 axles, and then divide the remaining number. Yep, there's the, yep there's the end of the train right there, YouTube. Well, there you have it, YouTube. CSX TQ410 heading northbound with a couple of CSX engines on it, a Dash AW in the center, an ES44DC on the lead end, and a UPAC4400 trailing third. So that's a really nice Q410 going northbound. So anyway, that concludes this series of Q410. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.